Hi, in a previous video, we showed you about ribbons. This menu at the top here, with their groups and their subgroups. We're not going to cover that now, because that was done in another video. Here we're going to go into detail about how you can customize ribbons and really make Excel personal. How you can customize the quick access toolbar so that you can reach straight, straight for the items or commands that you use the most often and also how you can change the color to suit you. Let's get started. So let's customize the ribbons. We go to File and then down here to Options a menu pops up. Go to Customize Ribbon. I'm in the Customize Ribbon menu now where I've got a list of commands that I can assign to certain ribbons. Now if you see here there's Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, etc. If I drag this out the way here you can see Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, etc. on the main Excel window. So now you know this directly relates to what you're going to see on that front window. First of all, you'll see this developer ribbon isn't checked. That's how Excel comes as standard. So I'm going to check that and OK it. And now you see developer has popped up as a ribbon with its own groups and commands. OK, let's go back to customize ribbons again. Options. Customize ribbon. Now, I want to create my own custom ribbon. So I'm going to click New Tab. And you see here a new ribbon has appeared called New Tab. And I'm going to rename it. So I right click, rename, and I'm going to call this my new ribbon. Obviously, you can call yours something more meaningful, which suits your needs. Okay, so let's drag in some commands. But first, let's create two groups under my new ribbon. I'm going to rename this first group, Useful Group 1. And then I'm going to add a new group, rename it my other group. Okay, now let's assign some commands. I would like the email command to appear under useful group one. So I click add. I'd also like the filter to come under useful group one. By the way, I'm just picking these randomly. My other group, I'd like freeze panes to appear under that one and also macros. Okay, I would also like my new ribbon to start before the home ribbon. So if I click on my new ribbon, page up, you can see the ranking is now at the top. So then I select OK. Now, look here, right before home, my new river, ribbon. And under there, there is useful group one and my other group. The email and the filter appear under useful group one. And the freeze panes and macros command appears under my other group. Really cool stuff. So, let's now move on and customize the quick access toolbar at the top here. That'll be really useful for putting commands directly at the top of the window. And these would be the commands you tend to use the most. So what I find in my work is that the com commands I use very often, I want very easily accessible. I want to get to them quickly because I'm constantly using them. So I can save time day in and day out by having them easily accessible. So if I go to File and Options, and this time around, I'm going to select Quick Access Toolbar, not Customize Ribbon. Quick Access Toolbar. 
And over there, I would like the delete cells to appear there. So I click add and it's as simple as that. Okay. And now at the top, you can see there's delete cells. So if I, just for the sake of it, type in some junk there that doesn't make any sense and click at the top, delete cells and okay. That was really quick and easy. The button was right there where I needed it. And if my job entails me using that button often, then that's a great place to have it. Okay, so that's all quite cool. But now I've really made a mess of my Excel. I've got this new ribbon here I'm really not going to use. In fact, I'd like to replace it with a better one. How do I get rid of it? Well, you could either go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and start deleting it, or just reset Excel back to its original state. Reset all customizations. It'll pop up a message here. Delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar customization for this program. Yes. Okay. Now my Excel's back to normal. Hey, that's great. But now I'd like a different color. I really want to make Excel my own now. So if we go to File and Options, and in the general section, I'm going to change the color to black. You can choose between blue, silver, or black. Then OK that. Now Excel's black. The ribbons are black. And then it's kind of gray in the group areas. Simple as that. Just a note, if you do this, all your other Microsoft applications such as Outlook and Word and PowerPoint etc will ap appear in black too or whatever color you've selected. Now if I go back and select that again, change it back to blue, it's back to how I started. Now thanks for watching this video on customizing ribbons, hope you found it useful.